victory parade. A jubilant population widely cheered the victorious troops marching proudly through the big cities of Australia. Victory and in the Pacific. The, well well the Second and World War and has ended. And in the grueling country of the jungle, where no white man had ever fought before. Australia and celebrates. Over mountain tracks and unscalable ridges. But during the celebrations, a story emerges that will shock the nation. A horrified public learns of the atrocities suffered by nurses at the hands of the Japanese. But it is the story of one nurse that really captures their imagination. Vivian Bullwinkle would expose one of our history's most barbaric war crimes committed on a remote beach near Sumatra. Yet out of this tragedy, she would forge an outstanding peacetime career, a life lived as a tribute to friends who would never return. On the 7th of December, 1941, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor. Within 24 hours, Singapore was also under attack. For the civilians, British and Australian soldiers stationed there, the unthinkable had begun. Overnight, the nurses were thrown into trauma nursing at its most demanding level. This was what they'd come to do. I just felt that uh, if my friends were prepared to go and fight for their country, well, then they deserved the best care that we could give them. And I believed that I was able to help in providing that care for any of these people. Some were better prepared for wartime nursing than they suspected. Vivian herself had trained in the booming outback mining town of Broken Hill Supplies. Their situation was grave. But more dangerously, they'd been washed up on enemy territory. With little choice but to surrender, the senior officers set out to attempt to negotiate with the Japanese. A second group of mainly women and children Decided to and the bayonets are covered in blood. We just sort of looked at each other and said, they're not taking prisoners. And we seem to accept that fact. Well, we're on the wrong side of the fence at the moment. This is our fate and we're not taking prisoners. We were then ordered to march into the sea. The beloved Sister Bullwinkle will live on in the hearts and minds of Australians long after this day. A grateful nation gives thanks for a life lived in the service of others. Strangely, she was one of the only people I felt comfortable with because we could sit together and not talk, not say a word. I am, I am lost. I feel alone again. 